Hey guys, and welcome to the season two finale of Ted Lasso, aka the last season finale I will be ever watching for this show because next up is gonna be the series finale. So this final episode of the season is called Inverting the Pyramid of Success and I'm so incredibly excited. I know this episode is gonna be a doozy. I'm just very excited to see Ted rip a new one for Nate. Oh my god, that man is a goddamn snake and I hate him so much. Like how dare he? How dare he do that to Ted? How dare he share something so personal that he trusted the group with and just publicize it for everyone to read so that Ted is humiliated and probably laughed at even though it's not a laughing matter. So I really hope Ted will put away his little nice guy spiel and just rip into Nate. Just rip into him. Fire his fucking ass. Just he makes me so angry. Like, imagine doing this to the person who first believed in you, who knew your name, like, bothered to learn your name, to ask for your ideas, and probably played a huge role in getting you promoted. And this is how you pay him back? By betraying him? Nah, nah, fuck that guy. I really, really hope they fire him. Like, that's what he deserves after all of this. No, get the hell out. You're not part of his family anymore. Like, how could the people ever trust you again? So, yeah, I hope Nate gets fired. I hope Ted will be mean to him because he deserves it. And I hope Will come forward as well and be like, yeah, actually, he, Nate has been super fucking mean to me as well. So I'm like, all oh, here for his firing. Like, I hope everything can come to light about how much of a fucking loser Nate is. I do think the character is written very well and I like this progression for him. It's very interesting. You know him going from like this meek mousy guy to then just like this big bully as soon as he gets a little bit of power. Like I think it's very realistic and I like the story but my god do I just want to punch Nate in the face. So yeah that's what I'm looking forward to this episode. Nate's comeuppance. God I hope there's some repercussions for him but I do still feel like he might team up with Rupert and they will get their own football club and then he's gonna be a manager and Rupert is gonna be the owner and then for season three we're gonna be like maybe going head to toe with them. I would love to see that. That would be so, so fun. I'm also excited to find out what Sam's answer is gonna be to Edwin. Is he gonna say yes? Is he gonna say no? I don't really know. I want him to stay on the show, but I also want him to say yes. It's a conundrum because I, I think this is like a freaking amazing opportunity and I don't think he should turn it down, but I also don't want him to leave. So I just kind of hate it here. And then also, of course, the big main event for this episode is gonna have to be our big match, our final match, that if we win it, we're gonna get back into the Premier League, which would be freaking amazing. And I really, really hope this time we're actually going to win. Not like last season when we almost made it, like we almost had a tie, which would have been enough for us not to get relegated. So I really hope this time around we're actually gonna win. We'll get back into the Premier League. And then for the season three finale, we're actually gonna be trying to win the entire Premier League championship or match Premier League Cup, whatever it's called. But we're gonna try and win that. And I actually don't know if we're gonna win the whole thing or not, but I really hope that we're gonna be playing for it. And then that's gonna be the season three finale episode. Oh, and of course the Roy and Keeley thing. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna happen this episode as well. I think they're gonna break up. Fun, that's fun for me, even though I love them so much together. Why are they doing this to me? Please just work on your relationship. You guys are so good at communicating. Please just figure this out. Work together. Don't break up, please. But yeah, I'm very excited to watch this episode. So if you guys are interested, you can watch the full unedited reaction to this up on my Patreon. The link is going to be in the description down below. And let's just jump straight into it. As we head into the last weekend of the season, we have an update on those rumours of change at West Ham United. But first, we turn our attention to the championship. Is, United change? Air... is Rupert buying that? Is the news that Ted Lasso left in the middle of the Tottenham match this season, God damn not it. due to stomach problems, but because of a panic attack? Lasso. Oh, sweetie. Lasso's clearly not fit to coach. Come Shut on, Shut the George. fuck up! Be... I hate this man. You want to find a captain whose brain works, not some big girl's blouse. I hate him so much. I miss Roy. Yeah, Roy had a foul mouth, but he was a good guy. 
That fuck the haters call if you need anything. Yes, Rupa Kai knew she would be on our side. <gasps> Sharon! Hi, Ted. Remember, the truth will set you free. But Aww. first, it'll piss you off. Yeah, exactly. I'm so happy she checked in. You're up late? Oh, you're up late. Oh my god, that took me way too long to get. Ooh, it's a late night. Oh no, I think she may have moved on and has a new guy. We should definitely tell Ted, right? Because they have a... No, I think it's definitely your business. Because you have a get kid together. So you should know if your ex-wife is introducing a new man into your child's life. And you know that you have our full support. I appreciate that. Well, that's Nate. I wish I could have done something before that dick Trent Crim posted the article. Yeah, you could have killed Nate. Well, don't worry. I'm going to speak directly to the owner of the paper and see who this anonymous source was. Ah, come on. No need. Fact is, everything they what said was true. What do you mean, no need? Ted. Beating Brentford. Yes, because if we lose, it will kill me. Please don't lose Ted, I beg you. <laughs> hey, don't. Um, it's Roy here. No. You seen this? Oh, this beer noise, Nate. Oh, uh, uh, yes. I. Oh, it's awful. Yeah. Yeah. I fucking hate him so much. Can I just say something first? Yeah, okay. That's a good idea. Because when I'm done, you won't have any teeth left, and you'll need them for the talking bit. <laughs> oh, jeez, Roy. I told Keela that I still loved her. It was wrong, and I shouldn't have done it. But I ain't used to being around dead people. It, it just. It makes you feel all romantic inside. I shouldn't have done it, and it was wrong. But I just need you to know that I respect you and, and I respect Keela and I respect your relationship. Dude, I love Ro uh, Jamie. Damn it, he's not gonna punch him anymore. How dare you be nice, Jamie? Fuck! <laughs> oh, I really wasn't expecting this from Jamie, especially to come clean to Roy about it. It's fucking amazing. Holy fucking shit! Oh, what? Oh my. What is it? <laughs> what happened? What, did she get something that she wanted? I wanted to talk to y'all about the article you saw in the paper this morning. Okay, here we go. When you should have found out about it from me first. But I chose not to tell y'all, and that's dumb. You know, fellas, we make a lot of choices in our lives, and I didn't give myself the chance to build further trust with y'all. To quote the great UCLA, it is our choices, gentlemen, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. Oh, I love this little speech. Because I sure as heck wouldn't want any of y'all to hold anything back with me. No, we got you. We got you, coach. We got you. Oh, I love it. I'm so happy that they're taking this so well. And when we sniff out the rat, permission to take socks full of soap to their stomach and chest? Permission granted. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Do it! It's right there. I'm looking at him right now. I'm gonna nip that talk in the butt right now. It's bud, not bud, coach. Dude, stop being so nice. Like working on Nate the Great's false nine. How's that sound? Yes. Okay, good. He's okay. still calls him Nate the Great. He's Nate the Snake. <laughs> Oh, are this they getting a new Earl? One of these two contestants will be our new mascot. Will it be so Macy Gray? Huge. Wow. Okay, getting weird. Thank you. Let her hand go. Is now a bad time? Um, no. Uh, could you give us a minute, please? Oh, sure. The fucking dogs, I love them. Okay, wow. getting so weird, dude. Something is incredibly right. What is it? The What's money it? The back banter. They want to finance me opening my own PR firm. <gasps> oh my god, that is amazing! I'm so happy for her! I'm scared of telling Rebecca I'm leaving. Oh right, because she's so yeah. intimidating. No, she's one of my best friends. I'm sure she would be so happy for you though. I don't want to appear like I'm not grateful for the amazing opportunity she's given me here. You won't. She'll understand. Does this mean you've made a decision? I think so. Oh god, what is it? What is it? I don't know. Mm. Oh. It'd be crazy not to go, right? Samuel. It you're would be. Think. But also don't go. Jamie apologized to me for what he said to you at the funeral. What do you think I did? Headbutted him. Keep going. <laughs> did you murder him? No. Worse. <laughs> I fucking forgave him. I'm so proud of Roy. I'm really proud of you. So Are they gonna that. be fine? Maybe I was wrong and they're gonna be fine. They want to finance me opening my own PR firm. Holy fucking shit, that is you. Oh my god, yes! Fucking CEO and shit, that's amazing. Oh, I know. She's a powerful woman. I love you so much. <laughs> oh, thank god, I'm so happy they're fine. Dude, I was so nervous. Lizzie just sent over a preview of the Vanity Fair article. Oh shit. Better not use any pictures of me smiling. 
Not that exists. <laughs> Oh my god, that is a fucking CEO right there. I didn't use any of the pictures with you in them. Shit, I'm so sorry, Roy. That is not cool. I think he's happy about that. Don't you change a fucking thing. You look powerful. Fucking gorgeous. You look like a bilf. Oh yeah? A boss I like to fuck. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is a bilf? So, you gonna say anything? <gasps> he knows that Ted knows? No, to Nate. He knows. An anonymous source. Beard is such a genius. Well, you know my philosophy when it comes to cats, babies, and apologies, coach. Dude, shut you gotta the fuck up. Gotta let them come to you. That's not gonna happen. You're so fucking dumb. Some people need a little push. Yeah, into a push river or off of a cliff. Coach, you keep trying to hold all this in. I'm afraid your mustache is gonna pop off. Exactly. That's what he's been doing his whole life, and it's not working. I'm so sorry. No, don't be. Oh, it's I good. love that so much. It's good. Why <laughs> full on crying? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite friendship. Holy fucking shit. Oh, no. oh God, what is what? it? Rupert's just bought West Ham United. <gasps> I fucking knew it. Oh, I'm so smart. And to think for a second, I thought him giving me his shares in the club was a kind gesture. Oh, Smitty, you're so dumb. I'm so sorry to tell you that, but that is very silly of you to think. You know, I'm actually quite reassured to find out that he is still just a selfish, conniving cock. <laughs> That's him, my favorite guy. A bit of advice for being a boss. Hire your best friend. No, <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Uh, use some uh, advice. Oh my god, is Roy okay? How about a one time visitor's pass for our junkyard dog here, yeah? Junkyard dog? Oh, 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 yeah, you know, I'm just gonna sleep. Huh? Okay, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you live, you learn, right? Oh, like, dude, learn. I hate Nate so much. Stop cutting to him, it pisses me off. Remember, I told you I had to do that photo shoot thing with Kaylee. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got that, yeah. It's actually yeah. hurting his feelings that he's not part of it. I didn't use a single picture with me in it. I didn't and think that would bother him. Hurt my feelings. feeling. I'm so sorry. Wait, feeling? A singular? He has one single feeling. She looks so fucking great on her own without me. Dude, stop it. She loves you. It would have actually been fucking weird if I was in the pictures. Yeah, honestly, that was like a dumb concept. At Rebecca's dad's funeral, Jamie fucking Tar tells her he's fucking in love with her. Whoa. Yeah. And he's still alive? <laughs> Instead of beating him to death, I fucking forgave him. I'm still fucking furious about it. No, that was so the right move. There's something I, uh, I have to confess as well. Yeah, right. Sure. What is it? Um, Ted, it's not happening. Stop being hopeful. Roy, when... Mm -hmm. Keely and I went shopping the other day. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He kissed her. Kissed her. We know, dude. Keely tells everything to Roy. Just tell me about it. Is that okay? I, I kissed her. I kissed your girlfriend. We good. Oh, this is going to hurt his feelings. All Jamie did was talk to him. You wanted to kill him. Don't you at least want to headbutt me or something? You made a mistake, Nate. Don't worry about it. I think this is worse for Nate. I'm having a great time. I'd be happy to headbutt you, Nate. Me okay, too. You know what? I think that's enough right now. We got work to do, yeah? Diamond Dogs dismount. Oh, 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 oh. Beard has like a murderous look in his eyes towards Nate and I relate. So sometimes the fucking diamond dogs is just chatting about shit and no one has to fucking solve anything and nothing fucking changes. Exactly. Sometimes, yeah. That's cool. Oh, I think he might become a permanent member. <laughs> They're so fucking cute, I love them. Never been more at stake. Brentford was oh, the lead at Richmond and dude, still The way they do these football games is just so <laughs> quick. Suddenly, we're 45 minutes into it and it's 1-0. One 1-0, one I'm sorry. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. No, 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 no. Yeah, I hate it here. Are we gonna lose again? I'm gonna shoot y'all straight. This is bleak. Yeah? <laughs> Don't do this to me again. We should abandon the false nine. It'd work if we had players knew what the fuck they were doing. It would work if you were a motherfucking bitch. What do you think, Roy? You should ask them. They're the ones out there actually doing this shit. That's true. The tactic is sound. And we are all perfectly capable of executing it. It will work. Yay, I'm so excited! It better fucking work. Believe, I believe. <gasps> is he gonna touch it? They're believing! They're gonna do it! They're gonna win! I know it! Richmond on three! Richmond! One, two, three! Richmond! Oh, this is amazing! It's so much 
better than the first time when he was counting to 10 or something. <laughs> Oh dude, this actor is doing such a great job because I was liking him up until now and now every single facial expression he has, it makes me want to punch him. Night night. Mm. <laughs> Everything okay? Dude, why do you give a fuck? You're mad as hell at me. I just want to know why. Huh? What have I got to learn here? Jesus Christ. He made me feel like I was the most important person in the whole world. Wow, how horrible of him. He abandoned me. When? Are you insane? And I, I worked my ass off trying to get your attention back to prove myself to you. What are you talking about? To make you like me again. But the more the more I did, the less you cared. It's like I was fucking invisible. When was this? And now you're going to play Nate's false nine so when the team fuck up, which they will, okay, you can blame it on me. Well, no, fuck that. Oh, this one is delusional. The great Ted Lasso. Well, I, I think you're a fucking joke. Without me, you wouldn't want a single match and they would have shipped your ass back to Kansas where you fucking belong with your, with your son. Oh, this is a fucked up man. And if I didn't tell you how important you were to me enough, I'm sorry about that. No, no, you're not. You're full of shit. Just fuck you, Ted. Dude, I fucking hate him. You two, secure little bitch. Nine I'm sorry. Nation. 80 minutes in and it's 2-0? Dude, fuck me. They're gonna lose? Good pressure from Rojas. Okay. 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 Okay, here we go. Here we go. One more. No, they need two more, right? They have to actually win. It can't just be a tie. Are only one point out of second place. Okay, but second place is that still promotion? They can somehow salvage a draw. Richmond will be promoted back to the Premier League. Oh shit! I had no idea. I thought they needed to win. Okay, okay. We got this. We got this. Come on, guys. Come on, please, please. Jan, do this. A long ball from the Dutchman. Chart is there. Jamie. Yes, Jamie. You got this. For Richmond. It's a penalty! Yes! Okay, okay! We got this, we got this! There's such a high chance that we're actually gonna get a tie. Chad will be the one to take it. He hasn't missed a penalty all season. Oh, dude, why did you say that? Do you want to jinx them? Done it. Oh, is he gonna do it? this one, Chad. Oh my god, that's amazing! Like a full circle moment because the season started with him killing the poor fucking dog! Who hasn't kicked a penalty since, well... Yeah, but you got this! It would have gone in if the dog wasn't there! <laughs> no, he, it has to go in! That's like a feel good story! Brief Earl! I do miss Earl! Imagine if he killed one of the puppies that he just got as the new Earl! Football is life. Oh, I love this so much. This is so good. They won! I mean, they got promoted! Oh my god, that's amazing. I'm so happy. Fuck. Don't hug that fucker. Yes! I'm so happy for them. They remain a club without a major trophy, it must be said. But it won't they don't have a major trophy until the end of season three. They're gonna win a trophy, right? Oh, I love their friendship so much. I hope we can focus on that on season three. He's gonna say no, Sam, right? This is his team, this is his family. <sighs> Fuck that guy, fire his ass. They are certainly going to miss you around here. Ah, um, <laughs> Mr. Akufo, I truly enjoyed meeting you. Uh, I, and I'm. Dude, you're getting broken up with. Stop smiling. But my answer is no, thank you. I sure did not expect that. I don't believe my time here at Richmond is over. And, and for that reason, I have to stay. I'm so happy. I hope you can understand. I totally understand. I'm so happy to stay for the club. Whoa. You Yoruba trash. Who the fuck do you think you are wasting my time? Ooh, fuck this guy. You will never play on the Nigeria national team. Yeah, I don't think he wants to. I will buy your childhood home and I will take a shit in every room. And then I will burn the place down. Yeah, then I was... Oh my god, Sam made the right choice. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will never forget this disrespect. Fuck you, Sam Obasaya. Bye! Oh, 
Oh, burn! Oh my god! How will Sam ever recover from that? Dude, this dude fucking fooled me! Hey, cray cray! But yeah, I'm so happy Sam stayed for the club and not for Rebecca. Like, I love that. I want to address the article written by our good friend, Mr. Trent Krim from the... Independent? Where is he? Does he feel lousy for doing the article? Well, my overall concern about the way we discuss and deal with mental health in athletics. Yes, thank you, Ted. Champagne to celebrate? Oh, I'll just take a glass of water, please. Still no sparkling. Yes, still. <laughs> I remember what happened last time. You know, before living here, I used to think still water was just was water and it continues to remain to be water. <laughs> well, there's no greater education than travel. Hey, friggin' man. <laughs> oh my God, what a conversation. Loved it so much. Well, hey, next season should be fun, right? One that'll include an old friend. Rupert. Sport West Ham United. He's coming back for season three. I'm so excited. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, Sam, go ahead. Stick around. I was getting ready to leave. No, no, no. no, no, no. It's, it's okay. <laughs> Do okay. Oh, poor Ted. I've decided to stay. Hey, that's great, Sam. Yeah, it is. Yes, I'm glad to hear that, Sam. <laughs> How did Edwin Akufu take the news? No. Well. I wish I could say it was because of my feelings for you. I think I need to stop worrying about how others feel about me. I'm staying because it's what's best for me and my personal journey. I'm so proud of him. That's amazing. Also, I love that he meant to say that to Rebecca, but was looking at Dad to make it less awkward, I think. You know, I think he might have been talking to you and he was looking at me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quite well, possibly. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess because he wouldn't know that Ted knows about them, right? <gasps> Trent! Because I am no longer a reporter. I was fired when they found out I revealed an anonymous source. But who fa how did they find out? I didn't say anything, I promise. I did. I'm looking for something different. Deeper. Oh my god, I love that for you. What is it? But can we keep him on the show? Trent Grimm. Independent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I my father made so the same joke. He sounded like a cool guy. <laughs> well, I hope our paths cross again soon, Trent. It better, I love Trent. Oh, oh. Did he lock himself out? Oh. Trent. <laughs> God, I really hope we get to see him in season three. Wait, that's how the show... No way they're ending it. Oh, five days later, okay. There were plane tickets. Are they going on a holiday? You and I are going to a villa by the sea for six weeks so you can chill out. I'm so happy they're still together. But I can't go. What? Why? You can do all your emails and shit but from a balcony with a sea view. I just can't. Oh. Come on. But you should go. On his own, why? Are we breaking up? Oh, no. dude, fucking stop why it. Why you say that? Of course not. I just said I'm so happy they're together. I love you. We'll be fine. Famous last words. Oh, fuck me, dude. Why would they spring this on me at the very last minute? <sighs> <laughs> oh, he's not taking the tickets. Three weeks later, dude! I keep thinking the episode is ending, but it's just not ending. Oh, God damn it! Is he at Rebecca's place. What's it gonna be? A Nigerian restaurant. Dude, what? He's becoming a restaurant owner? What about football? I mean, I'm happy for him. Do whatever makes you happy, but I'm so confused. Oh. Two months later, I'm overwhelmed. Oh. Zooming through the entire hiatus between season two and season three. Oh, Go. that way. <gasps> That's Nate, right? I fucking knew it, they teamed up! Am I a genius or fucking what? Oh, I hate this shot. You, stop looking at me. I hate you so much. You're gonna end the season on his face? Absolutely disrespectful. What an absolutely crazy ass finale. I loved it so much. And like, guys, I'm sorry to be tooting my horn so much, but like, am I smart or what? I, like... I just got it. I just know what season three is going to be about. It's going to be us taking down Rupert and Nate. And I'm going to be so excited about the whole thing. It's going to be so, so, so incredibly fun. Ah, I love it. Ah, I'm so excited for season three. Ah, I'm so happy I get to watch it like next week or wherever I'm watching it. But I don't have to wait a year for it. So I'm so happy about that. But yeah, I can't believe that they broke Roy and Keely up in the last minute of the show like what what is that about how dare they how rude i was like oh i think they're gonna break up and then they didn't and i was like thank 
fuck, they're together. And then at the end, they were like, no, actually, they broken up. So rude. Like, why would you get my hopes up like that? So, so rude. But yeah, I'm so happy as well that Sam has stayed. Although now I'm very confused. Is he a restaurant owner now? Is he going to work there? Is he not going to do football anymore? I'm beyond confused about that. I mean, I love it, I think. I'm just very unsure what's happening. But I absolutely love that he stayed because this is where he wants to be and this is where he thinks he should be and he didn't stay just for a woman. I love that. I love that so much. And yeah, we won. So next season, we're going to be in the Premier League, probably with like Rupert's team. What are they? Like West Ham or something like that. So I'm assuming we're going to be butting heads with them from time to time. And as they said, next season, we're seeing Rupert a lot more. He's coming I'm so happy and so excited. I love him so much. He's a menace to society and I'm in love with him. So yeah, I'm just very, very excited to see more of him next season and to finally be able to take him down because he's owning a different club. So us winning will not benefit him anymore and neither will it benefit Nate. So now we can actually triumph over our little villains so yeah i think that's gonna be amazing and oh my god nate i'm so happy to that we can take him down next season like he's such a viney little fucking bitch like everything he was saying to tad i'm just like so confused i mean i guess it's because he brought roy in as another coach and like that hurt his feelings this much it's like he was still listening to you and to your ideas. And it's not like he was only caring about Roy's opinions. So everything he was saying made no sense. Like it was all just in his head and like made it into a bigger deal than it should have been. And yeah, I hate him. I just hate him a lot so much. So I'm excited for him to go down next season. So yeah, I'm beyond excited for season three. I think it's gonna be great and I cannot wait to watch it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, a huge, huge shout out to my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone.